Hello, welcome inside the Mind of Matt. And if you've been watching my videos, I'm in the process of 3D printing a Stormtrooper's armor. Well, I also made this comment in my video. Uh, I'm gonna need a weapon too, sir. So, I looked on Thingiverse and I found a model and I printed myself an E11. If you want to take a look, make sure you watch the rest of this video. Stay tuned. So here is the model and it prints in several different parts. That's what it looks like all together. But all these separate parts are had to be printed, orientated the right way. And there was some, uh, some comments that were made about the part two. Let's find part two. It was this part right here, and there's actually another model made by somebody else that was this reworked. But I took all of the files into 3D Builder, and they all had some errors in it and repaired it. Now you see here, that's what it looks like in the slicer, all one model, but it was broken up, and I printed it in separate pieces. And it took uh, 54 hours and 20 minutes. Would you like to see it? It's still on the build plate. All right, but you got to close your eyes. Close your eyes. All right. Are you ready? Open them. <gasps> yeah. So I haven't taken off of the build plate except for I didn't like the way that this was uh, putting the support in with the other models so I actually didn't print it with that group and I printed this on Mo and look at that mirror finish on the first layer. That's the magazine for it end up gluing up right here on the side but so I'm gonna take this off of the build plate and then take it over to the table and we'll get a closer look at all the pieces and I will assemble it for you so stay tuned definitely got rid of my random zits all over the place now they're just in one line still got a one setting I gotta look at but there's also a brim that I'm gonna have to break out my bevel knife and take off and there you go, pretty easy. let's get the rest of this off All right, let's take a close look. I did print it with some supports. Get this glass out of the way. did have some break pieces right here.
Well, now I got some glue to do, so let's do a little glue in. I got her all glued up. I've done some sanding in some of the joint areas as best I can. There's there's a little bit of discrepancies and and misprints here and there throughout it, but it is just a prop. And I'm gonna go over with the primer, and then I got a nice uh, choice of color here. I think it's gonna be a a hammered, a matty hammered black. I think it'll look pretty cool. So I'm going to take her out and I'm going to do some little painting.
All right, I think this thing's had enough time to dry. Let's take it off and take a closer look at it. The E11 Stormtrooper Blaster Rifle. Got a link in the description where you can download it. A couple things I'd like to mention about the model. If you have the capability, <clears throat> I would suggest that you slice it at different spots. If you got the capability of printing a taller print, I, I would slice it different than what it was. I wouldn't print it with a brim like I did because these small parts that were on the build plate were hard to clean the brim off of. Otherwise, um, I would suggest maybe printing in one piece at a time just so that if there is um, an error, like I had a couple of spots in here that could have used some different supports that kind of failed because of the way the design was. There wasn't really much connecting it and to get a support on it, it would have been inside. So, otherwise, I'm pretty happy. It's going to be just a prop for the rest of my costume. So if you're going to build a big project like this, make sure that you're just prepared for a lot of sanding, a lot of prep, a lot of patience. So anyways, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Comment on anything that you'd like to see me work in the future. Check out all my affiliate links down in the description. And make sure you keep on coming back for more Inside the Mind of Matt. Thanks everybody. Happy printing. Be safe pouring.